Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review, and today I have the O-Ray BK-22 Dual Input HDMI Splitter. This product is incredibly cool because it not only supports 8K at 60 frames a second, it can also support 4K at 120 and 60 frames a second, as well as 1080p content. And the really unique part about this product is that it's not only a splitter, which allows you to take a single input and direct it to two monitors, but it's also a switch because it's got dual inputs and you can easily select between those inputs by tapping the button on the front. Now, if you've recently upgraded your monitors to be 8K monitors or even 120 hertz 4K, monitors, a product like this can come in really handy because most of the older switches and splitters don't support that level of refresh rate or resolution. And O-Ray was really one of the first companies that came out with the 8K splitter, but they took it a step further and actually built the switch in as well. Now, as part of this overview, I'm going to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the unit itself and explain the connections you'll need to make to use it with your own equipment. And then I'll actually come back here and do a demonstration to show you just how simple it'll be to use with your own equipment. Now, you can tell I'm excited about this product because I've recently upgraded some of my displays and I had a need to send the same input to multiple outputs. And this took care of that for me. But when I realized I had dual inputs, I could also use it as a switch between a game console and my media player which made it even better for me so let's get started with the unboxing when you first open up the box you'll find the unit you'll find a power supply it's a standard 5 volt 1 amp power supply you'll plug this end into the wall the other end has a barrel connection which plugs into the back of the unit and that's all the power you'll need to operate it you'll find a warranty card and a full instruction manual that explains connection diagrams specifications and other details you'll need to understand in order to use this product but it is so simple you're essentially going to plug two media devices into it, maybe two output devices into it, power it up and you're ready to go. Doesn't require any drivers and it supports the very latest standards out there for media content. It's both HDMI 2.1 compliant as well as being HDCP 2.3 compliant. And that's really important because if you're playing any kind of media today, that copy protection that's built in will absolutely stop at the switch if it is an HDCP compliant. So having one that's 2.3 compliant means you've got the very latest standards both for HDMI and for HDCP. Now, if you stay tuned, next what I'm going to do is take a closer look at the unit, then I'll come back and do a demonstration and talk a little bit more about what really separates this from a lot of the other switches and splitters on the market. Inside the kit, you'll find the 8K dual input HDMI splitter, a 5 volt DC 1 amp power supply. This end plugs into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the splitter. That's all the power you'll need to operate the product. A warranty card and a full instruction manual that includes connection diagrams, specifications, and other details you'll need to understand in order to use the splitter. Now let's take a closer look at the splitter. The product features a full metal enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. On the front of the product, starting on the left, you'll find a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all the electronics to make sure they're working okay. And when it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know it's ready to use. To the right of that are four LED indicators, input one, input two, output one, and output two. When you connect the media device up to the back of the unit, the unit will check the resolution of that media content and light this LED, letting you know that the inputs are valid. The same thing happens when you connect monitors to the back of the unit. This product will test the resolution of those monitors and it'll light these LEDs, letting you know the monitors are connected correctly. On the far right, you'll find a switch and that's used to select between both of these inputs to be sent to the outputs. And then finally, on the right-hand side, you'll find a micro USB port that's a service port, and that's used for upgrading firmware later on if new features are introduced. You'll simply connect a micro USB cable from here to your computer, move the firmware file over to the product to complete the upgrade. On either side, you'll find ventilation slots, which are designed to keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting on the left, input number one and input number two, those connect up to your media devices that you'd like to switch between. And then to the right of that are output number one and output number two. These connect to your two monitors. And again, this product can support 8K monitors at 60 frames a second, 4K monitors at 120 and 60 frames a second, as well as 1080p content. And the product is smart enough to make the adjustments needed to give you the best possible picture on those monitors. Finally, on the right-hand side is a barrel connection. That's a power port that's used with the included power supply. The barrel connection plugs in right there, and that's the power for the unit. And that's pretty much it for the closer look. 
Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use the 8K dual input HDMI splitter with your own equipment at home. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up two media players, each of which are displaying a different image. One has an image of a game console, and the other one has an image of a media player, and that'll make it easy to tell them apart, and that's simulating my input devices. I have the splitter and the switch in front of me, and I have two monitors set up over here that are my output devices. Now this product is a combination splitter and switch, and you can use it for either of those functions or both. So for example, you may have one media device you want to send to two monitors, it can handle that. You also may have two input devices that you'd like to send to a single monitor, and you can use the switch function for that. And I'll show you how both of those work. So the first set of connections I'll make are from the media devices to the splitter, and I've got two HDMI cables already connected up and I'll plug those into HDMI input number one and input number two. Now I'll connect up the output devices, and again, I've got two HDMI cables connected, they're already powered up, and I'll plug these into output number one and output number two. Now the only thing we're missing at this point is the power supply, and I've plugged that in already, and it's got a standard barrel connection that plugs into the back of the unit. Now the minute I add power to this product, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all the electronics, it's checking the resolution of the input devices against the resolution of the output devices. It's making whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. And you can see that I've got dual outputs from a single input over there, and it's showing me currently the game console. Now, if I want to switch to the media player, I just tap this button on the front, and it'll switch both of the outputs to the media player. Now, what's really nice about this product is the advancements in video technology have moved past the point of 4K at this point. So it does display 4K, 120 frames a second, 60 frames a second, 1080p, but it can also display 8K content at 60 frames a second. So this product is really future-proof for all of your future video needs, whether you upgrade your monitors or you upgrade your media devices. And that's exactly why I went searching for this, because I upgraded my monitors to a 4K 120 uh, refresh rate on the monitors, and my old switch and my old splitter really wouldn't handle that. So this BK22 really covers all the bases as far as your future video needs. So that was pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this content. I really love investigating technology like this, and when I search for a product and I find one that I really really like. I love talking about it on the channel. So I have a link below if you want to go check this out on Amazon. If you have any questions about this or anything we've covered on the channel, please drop that in the comments below and I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. And again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay nerdy. Mm -hmm.